For this exhibition at Sadie Coles HQ, Carty has produced a group of six large-scale paintings called Songs of the Earth. And these are inspired by a group of folk songs composed by Gustav Mahler in 1909, also called Songs of the Earth. Mahler's folk songs and the Chinese poems on which they were based were dealing with the whole gamut of human experience and feeling. And it's that sense of breadth of mood and also a shifting mood, a sense of the bittersweet that we get from a lot of these pictures. This painting takes as its theme beauty and it shows two young women sitting on a riverbank, seemingly poised between the status of real life people and that of fictional characters. It's unclear who the women are. In a sense, they're anonymous, they're types as well as individuals. We're looking here at a painting on the theme of youth, but it's also a painting about youth versus old age. There's a comic but also slightly melancholy contrast between the young girl on the left and the old man on the right, and it's not clear exactly what the dynamic between them is. The title of this picture is Alone in the Autumn, and it shows an old man perched on the top of a piece of uh, broken, deserted sculpture. He seems to have climbed like the survivor of some kind of wreck onto the top of this piece of stone. The piece was actually staged in a sculpture garden close to where Carty lives, and shows an artist friend of hers called Michael Curran. Despite the theme of loneliness and melancholy, there's also a carnivalesque mood to this picture, particularly in the psychedelic robe that the old man is wearing. This particular work is a triptych. It's a three-part picture which recalls the iconography of traditional Christian art, in particular representations of the crucifixion. So in a sense, we're looking here at a kind of quasi-Christ figure, although he's come down from the cross, or at least the cross just remains um, elliptically in these pieces of wood in the corner of the picture. This painting captures some of the mood of um, drunkenness and chaos and music and revelry, which runs all the way through this series of work. It's a theme which once again looks back to, in particular, Dutch genre painting and scenes of happy, drunken peasants, at the same time as having obviously much more contemporary resonances. And what you see in this particular exhibition is that Kasi has installed all of the works in a special hexagonal space, a kind of theatrical space, a sealed arena, which extends the unreal constructed space of the paintings. In this picture, shades of Disney, Albrecht Dürer, and even the Brothers Grimm overlap to create a dark, somewhat elusive comedy. It's unclear where she's going or where she's come from but there's very much this pregnant sense of something about to happen that we receive from uh, German fairy tales and surreal stories. This short film features the artist and her friends as costumed characters inhabiting a drunken, burlesque other world. And as with the paintings, real life is twisted weirdly out of shape. It remains discernible, but at the same time, it's always mutating into playful scenarios and distortions. Cartier has called the show Heimlich Maneuver because this, in a way, can be a metaphor for what art is capable of doing, producing a jolt to the senses, bringing us back to life. Oh, oh, one oh, more! Oh, oh. To live. Life, yes. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.